Hey, what's going on guys? Running Rock Smith here. So I wanted to show you a little trick that I've learned recently to fix your Yeti USB microphone. So if you're having a problem with the humming in the background, kind of sounds like a digital frequency, then this will fix your issue. It should. It fixed mine. Okay, before we get to the settings on the computer, let's go ahead and fix the settings on the USB microphone. So as you can see here on the back of the microphone, there is a gain setting. So what you're going to want to do is turn this all the way up as high as it can go. Okay, before we jump into the computer and tweak the settings there, you need to make sure that your mic is plugged in and the computer recognizes it. That way that it's on, you'll see the red light on your Yeti mic in the front where it says mute. Okay, once you see that on and everything's good to go, now we can head into the settings over here. So simply come down here and type in right here. You go click on your little start windows. Now I'm using Windows 10. If you're using a different Windows, a previous version or whatnot, you may have to search on Google to see how to get to the control panel. But this is the usual way that you can get to it easily. So click on your little windows here. If you don't see it up here in your little menu system, just click on CON in the search box here, CON, and you should see it pop up under control app. When you click that, you'll open up this window as you see here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go to hardware and sound. Click on that one. Once you see this pop up, click on sound here. Okay, now you're going to get this box. So we want to click on recording since that's what we're doing with this mic. And as you can see here, it says Yeti microphone and it's got a green check box. And you can see that the audio is actually working and picking up here. Okay, but what we want to do is click on that. Okay, and now you're going to see the properties box become ungraded. So we can click that. And now we want to go to levels. Okay, so once you get to levels, you're going to want to set this at about 20. You can go a little bit higher if you want to, 21, 22, 23, whatnot, but you want to keep it around this area. So once you set it at that, then go ahead and click on OK and you'll be good to go. Then if you see this apply button, it's not selected or if it's grayed out, that's fine. If it's not grayed out, go ahead and click apply if you can and then click OK. And now your settings should be good to go. OK, so that should fix that little humming vibrational digital frequency that you hear in the background when you're recording with this microphone. OK, so if you're still having issues after following the instructions in this video, then it may be some of the other problems that this microphone has. So if you're using this mic with a laptop, when you plug it into the wall, the microphone actually picks up the humming sound from the electricity coming through the cord. Weird, right? It's a very sensitive mic, so it does pick up strange things sometimes like this. So the solution to that problem is just unplug it from the wall and use your battery, okay? And you won't have that humming issue with the microphone. Okay, and the third and final issue that I know about is sometimes the microphone, because it's so sensitive, it'll pick up the fan noise from your desktop if you're using this with a desktop computer. Now, I don't have this issue with mine because I have an expensive computer. It's made for rendering 3D and modeling and stuff like that. So the fans are super, super quiet. I have to actually stick my head under my desk to actually hear it. So it doesn't pick up that. But if you do have noisy fans, one of the things that you can do is move your mic as far away from the computer as you can so it doesn't pick up that sound. Or what you could do also is use the program called Audacity. It's a free download. I'm in the software here. You bring the sound in by file import and import the sound. What you could do is you come in here under effects and choose noise reduction and you play with the settings in here to remove that background noise. OK, so that's the other thing you can possibly do. Again, this is free recording software and I'll leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and download it if you want to, if you want to use this method. OK, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it solves the issues that you're having with your USB Yeti microphone. If you found this video helpful, if it helped you out, please share this on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you can on social media to help others, because I know a lot of people are facing these same issues. OK, I'm Ronnie Rock Smith with USA Digi and I will see you in the next video.